Hello, Death Metal fans. Serving up another review for you. Be sure to check out my uh, Drake reaction video if you haven't already. Um, that song sucked. This one is a little more uh, uh, my speed. In fact, this one might be too heavy for all the Kiss fans who watch my channel. I'm not sure if the uh, brittle bones out there can handle it. We're talking about the new Christmas single from the Unholy Masters of Evil, Deicide. All right, um, this song is called Bury the Cross, dot, 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 with your Christ. Pretty typical deicide title, um, but you know, that's kind of what you want. I mean, you don't really want to hear Glenn Benton doing, um, like, philosophical, progressive type lyrics, you know. He's not Chuck, he's not, you know, the dudes from Cynic, he's not fucking, he's definitely not Opeth, you know. He's sticking to Satan, evil, you know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> I know some people think it's juvenile. It probably is, but I say uh, good, you know. Anyway, the track itself is uh, solid, short, catchy, to the point. Glenn sounds evil, you know. Bring back some of the the highs, mix in with the lows, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Steve sounds great. I gotta admit, I don't know who their current guitar players are. You know, call me a poser, but... Um, you know, I'm not on top of their shit that much. I should say I'm mainly into the uh, first four Deicide records. Um, for years, I mainly listened to the first two, actually. Particularly the first one. That was my first, uh, like, proper death metal record. But um, over the years, I, I probably listened to Once Upon the Cross and Serpents of the Light more nowadays. Mainly because I've overplayed the first two. But, I mean, there's really nothing wrong with the first four. Like, if you're into... You know, evil, satanic, you know, simple death metal. Well, I don't mean simple and, like, you know, easy to play. I mean, there's a lot of, like, pretty complex shit on it, especially on, like, Legion. But it's not, like, you know, jerk-off prog, that sort of thing. Um, now, you know, I am a Hoffman Brothers guy when it comes to Deicide. Um, and, you know, generally, I think most of the shit after Serpents of the Light kind of blurs together. I mean, there's some good songs, of course, uh... You know, in Torment, Hell, and Incinerate, them are pretty boring. Uh, actually, uh, Scars of the Crucifix is pretty decent. Uh, I think that, that's the last one with the Hoffmans. And um, I know everyone loves uh, Central Redemption. I'm not as into that one as most people seem to be. The kind of super melodic type of soloing. I just, you know, never super got into it. Actually, out of their out of modern Deicide, which is like after Stench of Redemption to me, like new Deicide, basically. Uh, I'd say Overtures of Blasphemy from 20, 2018 is probably the best one. Um, but, you know, after hearing this new song, I think I think this new record should be pretty decent. Uh, and yeah, they sound pretty energized and enthused. You know, they don't sound... Glenn doesn't sound bored or anything. Uh, and, you know, I think one thing is, um, you know, in 2024, I think I think we kind of need Deicide, you know? I mean... Even though it is kind of generic deicide, uh, it's somewhat uh, refreshing in the current landscape. You know, there's not really a prominent uh, deicide clone band out of the new school kids. You know, they're kind of seen as like passe boomer death metal by like the younger, you know, Sanguasugabog type crowd. You know what I mean? There, there's a shitload of bands ripping off Incantation, Immolation, Morbid Angel, Demolix, Suffocation, Autopsy. Entombed, of course. I mean, we had enough entombed bands in like 1994, you know. Uh, Mortician are also in the heavily, heavily ripped off category nowadays, which is weird because when I was first getting into death metal, nobody really, really gave a shit about that band. But um, hell, uh, Corpse Grinder era Cannibal has a clone band, that Undeath band. I don't know a ton about them, but yeah, people might get mad, but you know, I think that Undeath probably owes a lot to like bloodthirst and vile like that era of cannibal from what i heard anyway but that band's pretty big uh miscreants from italy they're basically a tribute band to fucking uh early 90s pestilence like spheres and testimony of the ancients and they owe a lot to atheists as well you know a lot of bands do of course but there's not really a big name uh deicide clone out there you know so it's cool to see these guys just saying, like, you know, Glenn's just like, fuck it, you know, we're going to take the ACDC approach and just, you know, stick to what we're good at, 
and the, you know they're doing the fucking opposite of like blood incantation to mold those types of bands you know nothing against them but you know it's cool that um you know there, there's someone still doing like kind of simple satanic to the point shit you know so um you know is the new record gonna be life-changing probably not uh but i don't think that's what they're going for anyway you know i mean they're they're coming from the acdc motorhead zz top school of thought you know not saying that d side sounds like zz top i'm just saying that you know it's a it's a similar mindset you know but uh you know the record's gonna be good and i'm still gonna see the tour even if the record somehow sucks and that this is the only good song on it i'll still go see the tour you know i saw them doing legion last year it was badass or i guess it was 2022 then i saw them in like 2013 as well but uh yeah let us know what you think the new deicide song uh are you a kiss fan who hates deicide or are you a um i don't know not a kiss fan you love deicide somewhere in between i don't know let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you